Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm super excited to share a fun DIY. This is something I did a few weeks ago with a couple of my girlfriends. And when I shared it on Instagram stories, I had a ton of questions about how I did it. So I thought I would make a whole video on it and just walk you through the process because I think it's easier to do it in a YouTube video than it is to break it up into an Instagram story series. So this DIY is going to feature the Cricut Maker. And if you're unfamiliar with Cricut, it's basically a printer that instead of printing with ink, it has a little cartridge that moves around with a small blade. So you can actually cut out all kinds of different material. My machine cuts everything from balsa wood to vinyl to dry erase paper to cardstock. And it actually has a spot in the cartridge for a pen that you can basically mimic handwriting. I've seen Cricut machines at craft stores like Michael's for a long time and I've always been intrigued by it, but I just wasn't sure if it was something I absolutely had to have. But earlier this year I was at my friend's house and she was showing me how she uses hers for work and she made me a couple of vinyl monograms that I could use around my apartment and on different things and I was really intrigued by this so I put it on my Instagram story and Cricut saw it and they actually offered to send me a machine of my own. I really couldn't resist especially after I had seen my friend use hers and I really wanted one. And as I'm going around on Instagram and Etsy, I realize that so many of these things that you see online that are being sold are kind of made from this machine. My mom actually places a ton of orders on Etsy for her business and I was telling her, mom, you should just cut out the middleman and get one of these machines because she could use a machine to make all the cutouts that she needs for her business. But anyway, that's a different story for a different day. Okay, today's DIY is basically going to be me walking you through how you can make a monogrammed sweatshirt. My friend and I were really inspired by this one company that sells monogrammed sweatshirts online for something like $150. We both realized once I got the Cricut that we could pretty much do this ourselves and save a lot of money in the process. So here is the final product. It's a little wrinkly because I had it in my drawer. It's basically just a crew neck sweatshirt that we got from Target. And we cut out individual letters to make my monogram and then I added little hearts. And each of my friends also made their own sweatshirt and tweaked the design to fit their personality. And that's like one of the fun things about this machine is that the sky is the limit in terms of what you can do. You're not just limited by the letters or the shapes that a craft store might already have pre-cut. You can cut anything. Now I've already done this, but I actually bought a different sweatshirt from J. Crew that I was going to customize. So I thought I would use this YouTube video to document the process on how I do it and just to kind of show you all the different ways that you can make this project. You are going to need a crew neck sweatshirt or a long sleeve t-shirt, short sleeve t-shirt, tank top, whatever type of clothing you want, a Cricut machine, iron on crafting material in the color of your choice, a laptop or an iPad or whatever you use to connect to the Cricut Design Center, and an open mind. If there's one thing I've learned about using the Cricut, it's that sometimes there's a little bit of trial and error as you take what is in your mind as a vision into reality. I also like to look up a lot of things on YouTube if I don't know how to do something specific. This is not going to be a how to use your Cricut video. There are a million out there on YouTube and it's definitely worth a quick search if you are just turning your machine on for the first time. So for this particular sweatshirt, I would like to have a small monogram with a little bow. So I am going to work on the monogram first and with this you can actually choose any font that you want and you don't have to worry about the color since you're cutting it out that won't be necessarily relevant to the machine. I like to choose a color that I can easily see while I'm working and in this case I'll just work with black. I'll just do a couple of different monogram options and then select which one I like the best. I think though that I'm going to stick to something in a block font. I'm just gonna play around with a couple of different options for a bow. Um, I'm drawing this myself, so it's not going to be perfect, but I'll just get a general sense. I think that's pretty cute. I'm going to 
send this to my computer via airdrop. So now I can open this and play around with how it looks with my monogram. Okay, so I don't like totally love that. So I'm gonna go back to the drawing board and create a couple more bows to see if anyone works better than that one. Okay, I think I finally have something that I'm happy with. So I'm gonna resize this. And I will delete the background layer so it's just a PNG file. I'm going to save this to my desktop as a PNG. Okay, so then you'll go to your design space for Cricut and you're just going to import that image. Once it's in your design space, that's when you're gonna resize it so that it's the perfect size for your sweatshirt. So I think for this, I wanna keep it around two inches. I don't wanna go more than two and a half. Let's just see. Yeah, I feel like two inches is the widest I wanna go. So you'll see in the design space, it has the measurements and you'll resize it here. I'm gonna make this so it's exactly two. So you'll click make it. And since it's an iron-on, you'll wanna make sure that you have it as a mirror image. Once your Cricut is connected, you'll select the material. We're doing iron-on. And here it is it gonna remind you again, just to make sure your mirror is on and your iron-on material is face shiny side down on the mat. So let's do that really quick. The paper is connected to the sticky mat we are now ready to print. So it's going to tell us to load the mat. And it's ready to go. I use a bigger piece of vinyl than I needed I'm going to just trim it okay so there you can kind of see the outline of the cut and we'll peel it off and you'll see better how it actually goes on to stick you can see why you have to print it out in the mirror image. The clear piece on top is gonna to help you align your actual iron-on onto the sweatshirt so you can still see what you're doing. It obviously also keeps that iron-on stuck. Now it's time to place an iron. So I'm actually gonna try the sweatshirt on to figure out exactly where I want it and then I'll have a good sense of where I should iron it on. One trick I have is to use your iPhone's level device to make sure that you have everything as straight and level as you want it to be. For the ironing on, I'm going to be using a Cricut Easy Press. As great as it is, it's not totally necessary. You could absolutely use an iron at home. Don't feel like you need it. I already have it preheated. You are also going to want to make sure you have something to protect your surface. This is like a matte iron-on 
And again, my monogram is ready to go. I also gave the sweatshirt a nice press with the iron to make sure it doesn't have any wrinkles. And now it's time to do the ironing on. And now comes the fun part, which is peeling this off. And there you have it, a monogrammed sweatshirt customized with your Cricut. Again, you totally could make something similar to this using iron-on letters that are available at your craft store, but the Cricut just makes it so much more fun and customizable, and really the options are endless of what you can do. Let me know if you guys like this video and give it a thumbs up if you want to see more DIYs like this, and if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button.